me a bench, Eivor. I have a thirst for plunder and glory! If not now, then next time. How dare you touch those sacred arrows? You've desecrated a martyr's place. Hold, stranger. Show me those arrows. These are just arrows, plain and simple. Why are you so passionate about these arrows? When Father James blessed the late King Edmund, he blessed that holy throne and all upon it. The blessing did not take. That depends on your opinion of King Edmund. I wonder... I have studied those arrows, but never dared touch them. But since you plucked them anyway, would you sell them to me? I'm willing to sell, but the King Edmund arrows might be mixed up with my own. I've the eye of an archivist, able to sort new from old. The kingdom's history shall be restored. Just sell them all to me. These arrows are the very same that pierced good Saint Edmund. I must study these holy relics. Thank you. Survey the area soon. Sumarit fyrra og sildum svo að virðist og svá sem vér við falla að heimi. Anskotan sjómaður sopnaða. Þá er fjandins dregur upp, mun það vera allt sem að getur gert eigi að deyja á skergarði. Heyrði þú um eigilsvegn, hann var svo trukkina, feisti upp úr honum, spíja mikla og gaisi andlit armóður. Armóður var... Með langskipmönnum mínum, hún dengt hann laug.
I do not think the horse can hear you. That horse can't hear anything. So how does he... Uh, how did Father do it then? The horse always comes when he summons it. Father was a good horse summoner, I'll have you know. And I'll ride in his stead. Redder says you are trustworthy. I have some work here, you see. We're always looking for help, so come back any time. Ad vulgares de terra superbus est. I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burnt to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dana Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep. 
without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together, not apart. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I'm not in the habit of killing kings, but I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes. For as long as I can hold out. So, what happened here, Oswald? A clan, led by a Dane called Ruid, attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and amulets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Halfton's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I'm here to see that it doesn't happen again. Lately, I've come to learn that you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all the Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else, if not a king, should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the holdup? The holdup? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. Slow down. Something is not quite right here. Hold. A smoke ahead. That's beat me. Carl's here on the jail to That's beat me. It could be the same men who attacked at the walls of Norwich. Stay here. I'll have a look. See you, old friend.
Druid's clan. They left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at home to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now, and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. I'd be happy to join you. Tell me when and where. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. Show me what lies ahead. Best not to draw attention here. <laughs> Seem in town. A healthy seam in town. This Oswald has done well for himself. What can I get for you? You never know when this might come in handy. Glad to replenish your stock. You would look very powerful with that. Excellent purchase. This is a very good piece. This is the current fashion. This could be very useful. You look stronger already. Seems like you're expecting trouble. could help you in your travels. Always good to pick up new stock for the shop.
happy to take this off your hands. This will be perfect for someone else. bring the strangest things. Always good to pick up new stock for the shop. This will be perfect for someone else. to take this off your hands. You have an eye for craftsmanship. Yes, this is a good look. This could be very useful. All done. I have to go. See you soon.
Look there. A lone Dane. Can't trust that. Shh. Lords, ladies, this is a day of peace and fraternity. I asked you here to Elmenham to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Finir, our steward, to our guests of honor, Brothir and Broder, and to my lovely bride to be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfdan commands it. But you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, bro, dear, that the is... The last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men protecting his maggoty ass. Bro, dear. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home, and won't be insulted here. <laughs> is that why you've come? To back this thane who smells of goat shit and cheap pebbles? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, Wolfkist? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowning the throne. It's made of less wood than, uh, this one. We'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruid's clan. Between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, Wolfkist, or you'll find it freed of your face! So easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your flaccid ego. My flaccid what? Please stop this! You heard me. That's it! <laughs> she called us flaccid! Limp, weak, soft! Ridiculous! Absurd! That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia is in the state it is. <sighs> you are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. Well, that's me done. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. 
This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I will find a place to lay my head. And Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise. Seems Oswald has set out for the day. I should have a word with him. Abrete! E lo sclice! Good morning. Up bright and early. You can labor like a thrall, but you're no good with feasts. Not a good start for a king. No, indeed. I find a solitary comfort in my menial labors. Not something a king should admit to, I suppose. The brothers shamed you at dinner. It's your duty to answer their insults. Don't let the matter lay unresolved. Oh, it was a petty row with henhouse wolves. I'd sooner answer the moo of a cow than worry about their insults. I have a wedding to plan and a kingdom to save. I haven't time to suffer fools. They betrayed your hospitality, Oswald. Where I'm from, that's a grave insult. Well, well. Here's the mud-soaked Saxon who's been taxing my patience. Ah, uh, Stuart Finnair. I know I failed to impress at dinner yesterday eve, but fear not, the Danes will come around in time. You stay claim to the throne, you dazed dog with no bone. If Lord Halfdown were here, he'd squeeze ale from a stone. Yelling, Finner, my dranger, stick this cur in the ground. All mewling and spitting, here's Finnir the hound. He has bark, but no bite. Just a puppy I've found. <laughs> what just happened? That is flighting, Oswald. Using rhyme and rhythm to lay a man flat. Try it. Match his verse. There's no man you can lead, you dunce of the thirds. Uh, a glutton you are. Just stop eating your words. Not bad. Not bad. Under all that tough posturing is a sniveling boy, so dig deep. When he brags, take a jab at his manhood. I've sailed squalls and north winds. You, not even a breeze. But the winds that you sail... Blow between both your knees. Blow between both your... Oh, you mean farting. <laughs> He's an ugly puss, so when he brags, hit him back with something about his looks. I hail from the north, where the winter's our season. But you're foul. You're a blister. You're a... a... Plague-ridden lesion. Oh, yes, that's very good. Plague-ridden lesion. 
He's got the wit of a boar. So when he insults you, make him feel stupid. When I'm done with you, Kerr, you'll be raven flock food. But your brain's soaked in mead and your... Head's made of wood. Wood! Head's made of wood! Oswald, my boy, you're useless without your raven. This one's wrong for the throne. He's too soft and too tame. Hit him back and make it personal. Attack his mother. When you crawled from the womb, you were ugly and lame. Your poor mother, she fainted away from the shame. Well spoken. Before sword clash and blood flow, we destroy our enemies with well tamed words. You have a talent for verse, I'll give you that. But how long will that silver tongue hold up against an iron axe? Let's find out, Finir. I challenge you to a home game. You don't mean that, Oswald. That's a fight to settle disputes, no? A home game. A fight to the death, yes. Let's talk it out, then. <laughs> it's too late. The challenge has been made. But a fight against Finir wouldn't be anything to boast about. You'll fight me. Hold on, this is... That said, I shouldn't be seen killing a Saxon in the streets of Elmenham. There's a nice islet down river, near Seahenge. The water will wash the blood clean away. Prepare the square, and we'll meet you there. I hope you're ready. Oh, I have to be. Just give me a moment to mentally prepare. Do not make us wait long. It would not be kingly. Are you ready for the home gang? I hope so. I just need to prepare. I'll meet you with the islet. I need your eyes, my friend.
Made it. <gasps> Done. 
You've still got the touch for drawing a square. I've been in East Anglia many summers now, but I'll always be a Dane. Must we do this, Eivor? Strength and courage are always a boon, Oswald. You'll need both if you want the Danes to accept you as king. True strength comes from resolve, Eivor. It speaks to us, a stern voice from within. I've never heard of talking guts, but a swift axe would silence that inner voice in seconds. You must be prepared. Wait, you're unarmed? Just do your best, I'll be fine. We'll fought your king out of you yet. Don't hold back. You want me to fight? Ah! Oh, was that too hard? It was a good strike. Keep going. You felt that one? Oh. Ah! You expect the Danes to follow this pork belly? I'm... I'm still breathing, aren't I? Show me what you can do, Saxon. I'll do what I need to do. Come now! Inspire us! You'll never be king at this rate. Is this the best East Anglia has to offer? Yes, and I'll... I'll prove it! Come on, fight! Finish this, Eivor! It pains me to watch! Eivor is the victor. But you've shown us something, Oswald. Stay down, Oswald. That's enough. I will... I will not stay down! You fought bravely. Not with great skill, but with spirit and courage. Always push back with everything you have. Even if you have to get dirty. Even if you must break the rules. Because there are no rules. Not if you answer a challenge head on. That's where honor lies. Not winning the fight, but living through it. A seaside brawl won't change the brothers' minds. Oswald must show results. Redress old wrongs. Fight back against Ruid and his men. The raiders who attacked Beatley have a camp down the coast. The sooner we remove them, the better. That would go a long way to building you up. And if you brought gifts for the brothers, spoils from the raid, They'd be in your debt. Time to wet your blade, Oswald. Eivor, I expect your longship crew could help with this attack. Merchants. Even farmers and merchants can fight when led by the right person. I hope your faith in pig farmers. in pig farmers is not misplaced anymore. There is work to do, yes, but we will rise to meet Ruid's clan. God will make certain.
There is work to do, yes, but we will rise to meet Ruid's clan. God will make certain of it. If I see any, I'll let you know. You fight well, Oswald. Does the threat of death drive your blade further? Whatever compels you, hang on to it. Nicely. Find something? There's a crate of hack silver here. More than enough to make everyone happy. We'll take it to the ship. A hard won fight. The first of many, Oswald. Have you the will to keep it up?
This is my gift to the brothers. I have more than enough wealth in Elmham to widen their eyes, but this will be a symbol of my commitment to our fight. It's a good start. Take what riches you find to Norwich, then send for the brothers. I'll meet you there. Silver, livestock, and a trophy from our slain enemy. What more do you want? Who said we wanted anything, Saxon? No battle then to Dane would ever follow this lump of lords into battle. I don't care how many shields he brings me. You mean to say you refuse my gifts, Broder? I don't have time for this. It's a generous offering, brother. You'd be a fool to turn your back. Refuse this and your shame will stain the name of your sons and their sons beyond. Stay out of this, wolf kissed. Take the gift. We have bigger problems. One of Ruid's men. Aye. Sniffing around the outer walls, looking for an easy way to slip a few dozen men inside. If there's one scout, there will be more. Something you might have learned if you kept him alive. I was passing water when he surprised me. It was either him or my plow sword.
Where did you find this one? Just outside the Northwich Walls, by the water's edge. They will be looking for points of entry to sneak a herd of raiders through. Jesus. Find another scout. We'll question him. I'll look around. The rest of you stay here and out of sight. If I find anyone suspicious, I'll bring him here. Ruid scouts would be camped near their boats outside the city walls. One of them will talk. you're doing.
Cast about this land, my friend. like one of Bruid's men. Wait, wait. What are you doing? I'm just a pig farmer. You are awfully well armed for a pig farmer. Stay down, muckworm. I have some friends who'd like to speak with you. Put me down! I tell you, I'm a cow farmer. Let me go, Dane. You said you were a pig farmer just moments ago. It, uh... It's not beyond reason. I tend to many livestock. You are as Dane as I am. Save your breath, liar. Survey the area, Sunan. Did Ruid send you to? Speak now, and you may live to see tomorrow. Arger swine. That won't make you any friends here. A scolding like that is a mortal offense, boy. 
I killed the bastard. Don't give him time to act again. I'll ask once more. Why were you lurking around Norwich's walls? I came to pay my respects, Lord. To Oswald, the whimpering Saxon ergy of East Anglia. I could do that all day, you drooling bloodbladder. Only give me a reason. Lick my dunghole. Here's the term I use for licking. How does it feel against your eyes? When the braziers lit at Dunwich, Ruid and his men will rally. They mean to attack Northwich by its weakest wall. <laughs> you English Danes are soft as butter now. Ruid sends his blessing, lady. He'll see you again very soon. That's enough to go on. Time to die. That wasn't necessary. He insulted you before everyone gathered here. You should have struck him down yourself. I will not have blood spilt needlessly in my kingdom. This has to end. Alive, this man was a risk. Valdis. This man spoke as if he knew you. Ruid was my husband. Your husband? You're married already? I was. We've been apart for five summers. I never expected to see him here. And I never wanted to. East Anglia's prosperity depends on our safety and unity. With Ruid's clan stomping around, neither is possible. I must speak with him myself, man to man. There's no place for him in East Anglia. He must hear it from me. Right. I'll start looking for a new king tomorrow. It was good to know you, Lord. Ruid will eat your lungs for supper, Oswald. Steer clear of him. If I'm to be a worthy king, I must meet the man who bedevils us. I'll light the brazier at Donich and face him when he comes. You sure you want to do this? Meeting Ruid in the open comes with many risks. It's the only way. We must face him head on and we cannot waver. Come, Oswald. We make for Dunwich. And of course I will see the lot of you there as well. Else the songs of your cowardice will ring out over the generations. I'm sure you're heading to Dunwich any moment. We'll be there, Eivor. You don't speak for us, steward. Need I remind you, Wax, what Halfdown will do with us if East Anglia falls into Ruid's hands?
Here are the Show me.
A good traveler. What seek you? Perhaps I can help. Well worth a little silver, I assure you. Yes, all right. Now, show me your map. There is a place... here. I should not be seen in this area. Let's see you, old friend. What's that about? Thank you. 
Hey, what's going on? Stretch your wings, Sunan. <laughs> <laughs> 